Live. This is NBC6 South Florida Breaking News. A deepening mystery on the high seas this morning as we monitor some all new developments following that tragic fall from that Royal Caribbean cruise ship off the coast of the Bahamas. As we were covering this story breaking on Friday morning right here, it appeared to be sort of an open and closed case. This guy apparently jumping on his own. But since then and over the weekend, a potential story of homophobia possibly coming to light and the twists in this story pushing it to be the most watched section on our NBC6 News and Weather app. And Michael Spears watching this story from Port Everglades where the oasis of the Seas is docked right now, and Michael, they are very much trying to figure out what happened here. But they're looking at the crew, they're looking at possible domestic violence. There's a lot of things to take into account. Absolutely, Eric. Right now, the Broward Sheriff's Office are looking into what the passenger, the cruise ship, has said uh, could be a case of suicide. Whether or not this passenger jumped off the ship. However, that goes against what his family attorney is saying. Now, this morning, the family attorney is claiming that. The guy fell overboard after a fight with crew staff that included anti-gay remarks. The passenger there, 35-year-old Bernardo El Baz, he went overboard Friday on the Oasis of the Sea ship near the Bahamas. It's a terrifying incident, Eric, that was captured actually by passenger cell phone video. That guy there hanging on to a lifeboat. Now, the family's attorney said Royal Caribbean staff made anti-gay remarks to El Baz, who was actually on the cruise with his husband, leading to a huge fight that spilled over to the couple's room. The attorney now challenging the cruise ship's claim that the passenger intentionally jumped overboard. Bernardo, who passed away, uh, ended up getting in a huge altercation and ends up in his cabin where he is furious. And ultimately, Royal Caribbean security comes on the scene and as a result of an altercation in his cabin, ends up somehow falling off the balcony onto the, onto the lifeboat area. Now, Royal Caribbean released a statement saying security was actually at the couple's room because of a reported domestic dispute and that they denied the crew staff were ever involved in any physical fight with the passenger, nor could they stop him from jumping overboard. In the meantime, the U.S. Coast Guard, they've suspended the search and recovery effort for the passenger's body. They reportedly found the body but did not recover it. So this morning, his family calling on the U.S. Coast Guard to go back out and do so. For now, we're live at Port Everglades. Michael Spears, NBC6 News.